In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord has risen. The Lord has risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Brothers and sisters in the risen Christ, welcome to the Monday of the octave of Easter. And if you don't know, an octave is a word derived from the Latin that means eight. And so the octave of Easter is an eight-day period of celebration that begins Easter Sunday yesterday and ends with the second week of Easter or Divine Mercy Sunday. So all of these days in between are what we call the octave of Easter. So friends, here at the God Minute, we're opening our days of prayer during the octave with the hymn that you heard here that says it all. Jesus Christ is risen today. Something we must never forget. And the promise that comes with that. I'm so glad you've joined us in prayer. Thank you. A hymn from the Abbey Hymnal. O God, creator of us all, from whom we come, to whom we go, you look with pity on our hearts, the weakness of our wills you know. Forgive us all the wrongs we do, and purify each sinful soul. What we have darkened, heal with light and what we have destroyed, make whole again. By you, O Christ, we are sanctified. Bless all your penance. Give us strength to share the cross on which you died. O God, have mercy. Hear our prayer. With Christ your Son and Spirit blessed, transcendent Trinity, in whom created things all come to rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I got a text from a friend of mine yesterday on Easter with a short video attachment of his three little kids, who I know, participating in an Easter Sunday Easter egg hunt uh, that was that was sponsored um, by his local parish. So it was in the back lawn of the big parish. And what looked like, you know, upwards of, gosh, 50 or 60 little kids all dressed up in their Easter outfits, yelling and screaming, running through the grass, trying to find the little hidden treasures. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was so adorable. (laughs) 
And while, you know, Easter bunnies laying eggs is not a particularly religious thing, <laughs> like Santa at Christmas, but nonetheless, it is something that I too remember as a kid, and I used to always look forward to. I don't know if it was just the discovery of things you can't see and finding them, or if those things were chocolate, <laughs> right? But uh, oh, it's always awesome. But anyway, <clears throat> I was thinking of that with the beautiful line of our scripture today. Bunnies and hidden eggs, little kids discovering hidden new treasures that bring laughter and joy. Is it so different from the miracle and the promise of Easter joy? I mean, it's a message Easter is that reminds us and proclaims the transformative power of God's presence and his love in our lives, a force that can bring light through darkness a love that manifests itself to us in the most simple and unexpected ways in our lives. You know, I, hidden behind gestures of forgiveness and acts of kindness is the revelation of God with us here and now, floating on the songs of birds high in the trees Mixed in the fragrance of budding tulips and spring flowers is the presence and the beauty and the voice of our amazing God. A God who uses everything and anything to disclose his nearness and share his presence with us. And yeah, the best part is you and I, have been set free in the field that is our life, like those kids on that church lawn, to discover and be delighted and surprised and amazed at what we might find if only we have the eyes and the trust to find it. So friends, let's go out this week, this octave of Easter, and let's stretch it out to the month, maybe even the year, and uncover that goodness and the wonder of God with us. Find him in the laughter of friends and the faces of the poor. Hear his voice in the warm spring breeze and feel his embrace as you curl into sleep under the weight of your quilt. Find those Easter eggs scattered everywhere. But as you do, don't ever forget the one place God needs no discovery, the place we don't find him. Rather, he comes to us in flesh and blood in the greatest treasure of all, Eucharist. Gathered as a family of faith, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And let us pray. Dear God, we lift our hearts to you. We lift our voices to you. We celebrate the greatest day in history 
When your son, Jesus, rose from death, defeated darkness, and bathed the world in stunning resurrection light, may we ever live to praise your holy name. And with a deep gratitude of Easter joy, we pray through Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Okay, well, that does it for us. Thank you for joining us this Easter Monday. May God's blessing go with you now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a beautiful day, my friends. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you tomorrow.